What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a newly updated tweak called Canopy. Now Canopy is a really cool tweak, it allows you to do a whole lot more things within Safari on your device. So if we go into the settings here, this is the settings panel for Canopy. If you ever get lost or you want to know exactly what uh, Canopy can do, then you can just tap on features, and this is going to give you a detailed outline of what it does and how you can do it. So right back here, we also have some options for long press gestures. So what happens when we long press on the pages button? What happens when we long press on the done button? So if we just tap on this, then you can select what you want it to do. So I'm just going to have it set up uh, to open a new page. And then for the done button, we can use close all pages. Right down here, we have pages view. So you can toggle on the settings icon. If you do that and you tap on that settings icon, it's basically just going to take you directly to the Safari settings from within Safari. So right back here we also have show pages icon or page action icon so you can toggle that on if you want to. Right here is really nice this is a nice little feature and that's to keep the bottom navigation bar visible and this is something I'm definitely going to be keeping on because I'm always having to you know scroll up down in order to get that navigation bar to come back up so I can use it. Right here you can also show the history as a tab so you can toggle that on. If you want to translate the pages then you can just toggle this on and then select your language right here. Of course I'm just going to keep it in English because that's the only language that I know. But if we want to test some of this stuff out let's just tap right up here in the top right hand corner to go to Safari and it looks like it crashed so let's go ahead and open this back up and you can see that I got a uh, Safari has crashed from Crash Reporter. But you can see if we tap and hold on our uh, little pages button, it's going to open up a new tab if we tap and hold. Now if we open this up, you'll notice that we have a little gear right here. So if we tap on that, that's going to take us to our settings. And then we can tap right here to go back and we'll open up the page. Now another really cool thing about this is if we tap on the URL bar right up here, if we have something copied, then we can paste it directly right there rather than tapping and holding, waiting, hitting the paste button, and then hitting search. So you can just tap paste and go and it's going to paste whatever you have copied and go directly uh, to searching that. So if we go back here, or let's actually say we're going to, uh, let's just say we're going to search for iPhone hacks. And I spelled it wrong, but it still should come up right here. All right, so let's say we open this up. So now let's say we wanted to open this up in Chrome. All we got to do, hit the share button, swipe over, open in Chrome. And as long as you have Chrome uh, installed on your device, it should go ahead and open up that page within Chrome. As you can see right there. Now let's say that we want to add this post to our reading list. So if we just tap and hold on our bookmarks, you can see we can either add this to our bookmark or add it to our reading list. So we add it to our reading list and we're good to go. Now if we open this up, you can see that we have our reading list right here. So if we swipe to the left, then you can mark that as red if we want to do that. Again, if we swipe across and tap mark as red, you can mark as unread, so it's just a nice feature to have within your reading list. Now one option I did have issues with is if we try to open this up and we tap and hold on the done button, it should delete all the tabs, but you can see right here that it's not doing that. So that's one of the options that I had some issues with. Hopefully that's something that can be fixed in an update right there. But Canopy is a really cool tweak. I highly recommend checking it out. If it's something you've been looking for, if you want to add some more features to Safari, then this is definitely the way to go. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.